Uh, while I've got the tractor torn apart, I'm going to measure the height of the three-point hitch arms. Uh, when I had it before it was stolen, the um, when I would try to lift up the backhoe to install it on the backhoe brackets, the lifts the three-point hitch would not lift it quite tall enough. I think when the John Deere dealer had it in the shop, they didn't adjust it up quite high enough. So I'm going to adjust it to the maximum height according to the specs. And see, I've got these third. Let's see, one, two, three, fourth and fifth hydraulic uh, setups here with a controller mounts in between the backhoe bracket and the. It, right here's the thing you have to adjust and with this in the way it's just darn near impossible to adjust so anyway I'll do it now so I just started it what we want to do is measure um, I started it and lifted this up from the top of this PTO shield to the center of this pin <clears throat> is supposed to be um, 350 millimeters plus or minus 3 millimeters or 13.8 inches plus or minus 0.12 inches so that means um, it can be between 13.9 inches and 13.7 inches so I'm gonna hit try to hit 13.9 inches or uh, 353 millimeters and to measure uh, a tenth of an inch on a regular rule it doesn't work very well because they're marking sixteenths of an inch. So I do have a metric tape measure. So 353 millimeters. So I'm going to, I've got a clamp here and a stick. The stick will indicate the top of the, the PTO bracket. Let me get that clamp down there a little bit better. Now, when you, if you're using your PTO bracket as an indicator, you've got to have to make sure your little rubber boots, the anti-vibration boots, are in good shape. Otherwise, it'll sag. So, you can hook on here. Get that lined up a little bit better. So, we are... Um, it's pretty easy to measure the, the center of a round object. So, this looks like... 343, 343 millimeters. So I'm going to start it up and put it up to the top just to make sure. Just to drop it all the way down. So I've got to move all this crap out of the way. Well darn it, I thought I could take that out of the way. I forgot about all the hard pipe. Now wait a minute. It's got, the hard pipe is attached to a bracket here. And the bracket has, hmm, just one bolt holding it in place. So I can take the bolt loose and these hoses loose and this thing should swing out of the way. It'll just be attached to these uh, cables. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the hoses loose. I have to sop up a little oil. This one is up here. And 
this hose has got to come loose. I thought I had a cover on that, but I guess I don't. So now, the only thing that's holding it is this one little bolt right here. And the Can't get in there with that. Remind me that I put that uh, that bolt in my toolbox. All right, so now uh, it's still bolted on. Two more, two more places. Okay, so now that is out of the way. And I think for the three-point hitch to work, the power beyond has to be hooked back up here. So I have this wiggled around here to fit the other brackets. Get it temporarily hooked back up. All right. All right, now it's time to do some adjustment. What can you see in there? Uh, these are eight, no, 17 millimeters, I believe. I couldn't find my 17 millimeter. 16 doesn't fit. 18 is a little loose, but this uh, 11 16 fits on there very well. So, first thing we have to do is break this loose. So the front, I'll just, I'm gonna make it longer, so I'll loosen this up a little bit. Then I'm gonna start it up and put the wrench on here and try to bring it up to the right height. Now, um, so you're supposed to be up to 350 millimeters, plus or minus three, um, without engaging the pressure relief. And you'll be able to hear the pressure relief should I engage it. 
So let me move this, adjust this right now. And we've got the tape measure. Try to make it straight up and down. See now on this side, it's showing 345, maybe 346 milliliters, millimeters, and the other side it didn't show quite so much. Look, if this is bent. It's not a very precise place to measure from. Tell you, I don't like it. Maybe we could measure from here. Okay, so I have removed the PTO shroud and left this more rigid bracket on here. You see, even that, it's round and allows for quite a bit of, of movement. Uh, I have it clamped in the middle so that it's about at the average position. And measuring, trying to make it straight up as, and down as possible. Um, it's right about 355 millimeters right now. That might be just a touch high, but usually, I think when I clamp this back down, it might bring it to the right measurement. So let's do that. Get the right wrench. Where'd it go? Alright, that's pretty snug. That one was 360. So I've got to lower it a little bit, I guess. Okay, that's right at the upper limit. Can you see it right here? Oh, she doesn't have it up high enough. All this time I haven't been measuring it up high enough or haven't had the camera up high enough. Right here. It's pretty darn close to 353, which is as high as I can go. It was about 340 before, so it's about half an inch, 13 millimeters. That should be enough to get my backhoe engaged. All right, it's time to put it back together. 
Well, as you can see, I've got the tractor back together now. And uh, the three-point hitch did its job. It lifted this backhoe attachment right up to the right height so I could put these pins in without any monkeying around. Um, unfortunately, the three-point hitch now goes up to the pressure relief valve. If I just reach back and pull the lever, the, it runs up to the point where it starts hissing. And that's not good for the pressure relief valve or the pump, either one, I suppose. Uh, so apparently there was some air in the rock shaft cylinder. That's the only thing I can figure. Because you can, as you remember, it was uh, when I adjusted it on camera with the tractor running, it did not hiss. Um, but once I got out and moved the tractor around and hooked this backhoe up, it was hissing. So I can, you know, normally that wouldn't be that big of a problem, but as I'll show you here, this is really tight fit in here. But eventually I'll fix it. Alright, let's see. You can see down in there. You can just barely see the shaft right here with the adjustment. Right here, this nut. I can get to it. I can just barely get my fingers down in there, so I can't imagine getting a wrench in there. So anyway, uh, it works. All I have to do is be careful not to run it up too high. Uh, eventually I'll adjust it down a little bit. So, I guess my mistake was doing this immediately after doing the transmission work and uh, with a fresh hydraulic fluid change. I hadn't worked out all the air. That's all for today.